good friends. Are you there with me today, sitting in front of your skin? Thank you so much. And I really welcome you to today's show of Hourglass Trails. I am Tulip Choudhury. And guess what? Today we are going to talk about wellness and in the natural way how to take care of your health and the well-being before cold and allergy or any kind of seasonal changes gets you. It's like jumping over the puddles, you know. And on this regard, I have health expertise, Valerie Damersky, on my show, who is also a wellness advocate with the company doTERRA, which means gift of the earth. What better way to find this ex expertise? But just before we get to her, just a quick point to note, this show is divided into two parts. And remember to watch the second part. There, Valerie will be in her workshop with friends making their own essential oils. So no more time to waste. Let's get to Valerie. Welcome, Valerie. Thank you so much for having me Thank today. Thank you for Tim. coming today. It's my honor. Now, tell me there are so many paths we take in life. Sometimes we just fall into them. Sometimes we choose them. How did you come into this amazing healthcare, mm. the natural way? Well, I had actually been interested in alternative health modalities my entire life. Um, but life sort of got in the way of me pursuing anyone in particular. Mm -hmm. And then about five years ago, I had a friend who had or was dealing with quite a difficult health challenge. Mm -hmm. And we had a common friend who used doTERRA who provided her with some oils to try and help her with this um, illness that she was having. And she had such amazing and instantaneous results that mm -hmm. I became very interested and wanted to know more about it. So I had my own discussion with this common friend um, about some things that I wanted to address in my own life. Okay. So um, she sent me a few samples and I was so blown away, quite honestly, by how quickly they worked and how effective they were that I immediately knew <laughs> that I had to know more and I had to have within my ability to be mm. able to share this with other people because in just everyday life and everyday conversation, everybody seems to have something mm -hmm. that they're dealing with, whether it's a physical or an emotional issue. And it became very apparent to me that these amazing little oils were something mm. that could help everyone. Yeah. yeah. And it seems like um, almost every day with every season, we have something cold or every day a sleep problem. And sometimes we are just emotionally down, but there is everything, believe me, in the essential oil. So let's learn more from her how to get them. Would you like to show something? Absolutely. Um, so one of the things that we like to say in doTERRA is that we are here to provide natural solutions with a book and a box. And I have one of our kits standing in the back of this little case here. It happens to be our emotional aromatherapy kit. And this book, which you be get when you become a member, um, tells you everything you need to know about our company and how to use oils and about the individual oils. Um, but we also have other really wonderful resource books, which I highly recommend that people who are going to be serious about using oils mm -hmm. get because it gives them in-depth detail about which oils to try for mm -hmm. which issues and how much to use and how often to use it. Um, and books like this even contain things like reflexology charts so that wow. you can use them on the appropriate places of your feet and your hands. Mm -hmm. um, or for those who are scientific minded, there's scientific research that's included in here. But we literally have an oil for everything. And that's one of our mottos is we've got an oil for that. <laughs> yeah. Because we pretty much do. Now, 
for my particular needs, this little bottle right here called Breathe, which is our respiratory blend, is the one that single-handedly sold me on this whole line. Wow. Because I had been dealing with environmental threats mm -hmm. in the fall season my whole entire life. And all I did was put one drop of this in my hands, rub my hands together, cup them over my nose, and breathe mm -hmm. in this absolutely delicious scent mm -hmm. and it totally cleared out my sinuses and I used it pretty repetitively for a number of days but that was five years ago okay. and I have never had to take any wow. kind of medication again and um, for the last two years I haven't even had any symptoms. So next time I go to a workshop I have to get that dream. Yes. <laughs> so this is a really are you waiting to, to join her workshop? We'll talk to, about that later. Yes. Yeah, go on. And the nice thing about um, the oil, this particular oil and some of our others as well, mm -hmm. is that it comes in different formats. Yeah. So you can actually get breathe in a lozenge. Oh. So it's more portable and you can throw mm. it in your purse or in your car console. And then we also have it in a, um, we call it a vapor stick. So it's sort of like a little deodorant tube mm. that you roll up and it's got um, um, different uh, base oils in it that are mm. hard, like a you know a hard stick. And this is great for kids. Um, because uh, I give this to my granddaughter when she's not feeling well and she can apply it herself. I don't have to worry about her spilling it or using too much or drinking it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, and this is so this is another really convenient way to carry your oils around with you. Mm -hmm. um, so that's respiratory. Mm -hmm. um, we also another one of our really popular oils is the deep blue. This mm -hmm. comes in both an oil and a cream. Is this the one? Mm -hmm. oh, yep. Okay. Yep. And a whole bottle oh. of that oil is in a tube of the cream. Oh. This has a, um, a lot of wintergreen in it, and wintergreen is the essential oil um, kind of equivalent, not equivalent, but our, our version mm -hmm. of aspirin, say. So if you're, if it's called the soothing blend, okay. and so it's a wonderful oil to use if you're having any muscular issues. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people suffer from low back pain, mm -hmm. And, um, and it's also, the cream is also a, um, a real favorite of athletes. Oh, because if really? you put it on your muscles before you do a workout, it mm -hmm. actually helps to warm up your muscles and so you're less apt to injure yourself. Wow. Yep. It became so popular with, with physical therapists and personal trainers that they now make it in a big liter bottle with pump. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Yes, so a lot of our professional sports teams are starting to use it now. Oh, yeah. can we uh, just listen? I mean, I'm amazed at all the powerful healings these oils and other products have. Mm -hmm. But how do we get them into the bottle? Into the bottle? The, yeah, how yeah, do we get them in the bottle? It's quite a process. Yeah. Um, essential oils can come from many different parts of a plant or a tree. It could be the leaves, it could be the bark, it could be the little scent sack on the underside of a leaf, as in the case of peppermint. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have things like frankincense and copaiba, which are actually um, taken from the resin of a tree. Mm -hmm. So it can come from many different forms. It could be the actual flower itself, as in the case of jasmine. But the, there are so many things, so many factors that go into the therapeutic value of an oil. And doTERRA takes great pride and great care mm -hmm. in making sure that all of those needs have been met so that they will have the highest therapeutic mm -hmm. um, components possible. And they will go wherever in the world a plant is best grown in order to satisfy that. Wow. So it could have to do with the amount of rainfall mm -hmm. or the time of year that it can be harvested mm -hmm. or even the altitude that it's grown, the nutrients of the soil in that particular part of the world. Um, you know, you can grow lavender in a lot of places, but it's grown best in a particular part of the world. Yes. So that's where we go to grow mm -hmm. it. Um, and in many cases, we're working with farmers in third world countries, so we're actually giving them work. 
which is just another wonderful mm. component of being able to give back, Definitely. which is which is something that um, mm. DoTerra really prides itself on as, in, as well. Um, the other thing that's really important is, in some cases anyway, mm -hmm. is being able to get the product from har place of harvest to a distillery really quickly. Oh. Um, some things like jasmine and neroli, they're very mm -hmm. delicate and they mm -hmm. have to be picked before the sun even comes up in the morning. Mm. And then they have to be brought to the, dis the place of distillation fairly quickly. So we need to build distillation centers all over the world too in relation to wherever we're growing things. Um, so they, you know, that's what they do to make sure that the product is going to be fresh. And then before they even put it in the bottle, they test every single liter of oil seven different ways wow. to make sure mm -hmm. that there is nothing in the bottle except the pure essential oil. There's no uh, toxins, there's no pesticides, there's no chemicals, there's no anything, or else we don't use it. And there's awesome. actually, on the bottom of every bottle, mm -hmm. there is a code. You won't be able to see that, but it's there. And um, we have a place on our website called mm -hmm. Source to You, okay. where you can go and put in the code for that particular bottle, and it will bring up the actual test results mm -hmm. for that batch. So you can see all the testing that's been done on it. You know, speaking of jasmines, I can totally relate to what you said. I mean, up in my village home, when I was growing up, we had two jasmine trees at the edge of our hills. And waking up in fall, early in the morning, it was special because we had to pick the jasmines before the sun came up mm -hmm. because they'd wither away. Right. There would be on the green grass, white with, you know, orange uh, stems. Oh, thank you for reminding me, that's <laughs> uh, beautiful. But I can totally, the f you know, the gentleness or the softness of those flowers yes. is just make my hands tingle. Yes. And all that's there in the bottle. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. And they've done a lot of filming in the individual parts of the world where these things are grown and harvested. So we can actually see the people mm. who are working in the fields for yeah. us. And another way that doTERRA gives back in, in, uh, in many of these places is if, they've, if they're working in a part of the world that's very, very poor, mm -hmm. um, we will ask them what mm -hmm. their communities need most. And it could be a school. Okay. It could be um, they need to have a well dug for fresh water. Mm -hmm. um, wow. You know, whatever it is that they need, we will give back to them oh. in that way as well. That's amazing. So, yeah. Now, suppose, you know, as a, suppose I have allergy and I don't know anything about Dr. our natural healing. And if I go to the doctor, they'll tell me, you know, like I might be tempted to take some allergy medicine. Mm -hmm. But how would I choose then? But then I also know that this is there, so how will I choose uh, between the natural and the synthetic mm. versions of my health care? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I obviously, personally, I always think it's better to go natural yeah. because I've seen way too many cases of people who have um, ended up with more issues, shall mm. we say, from taking over-the-counter or prescription meds. Um, mm -hmm. so that they end up turning to more alternative forms of mm -hmm. taking care of themselves. Also because it's, it's um, less, um, less expensive in mm -hmm. the long run and it's usually much faster acting. Oh really? Yeah, oh, oh absolutely. I it's, it's a slow acting thing. No? Not in a lot of cases. Oh, um, I see. That's um, amazing. Th that was my experience anyway with mm -hmm. Breathe when I was dealing mm -hmm. with it for my seasonal um, problem mm -hmm. was that the minute I took an, a deep inhale, I could feel it moving through my sinuses and just cleaning oh. everything out and making me be able to breathe again, which was a new sensation <laughs> for me in the middle of October. <laughs> oh. So, um, but again, I would refer back to the book. So I would say, Mm -hmm. If someone calls me and says they have a particular issue, the first thing I do is go to the ailments section and I look it up and it gives me several different options mm -hmm. because everybody's different. Yes. Everybody's going to react differently. Mm -hmm. And um, 
let's just take, you know, if you have uh, um, any kind of head tension mm -hmm. going on, um, there's different kinds and it could be happening for different reasons. Definitely, definitely. So sometimes we have to use one oil, sometimes we have to use another oil. Mm -hmm. um, I know my daughter has dealt with that for most of her life very in a very serious way. And so when I started using the oils, there was one in particular that I gave her. It's called Past Tense. Mm -hmm. And it's totally like 90% cleared up that issue for her. So it's really gratifying, especially as a parent, to be able to provide answers to my okay. child for something that's been literally debilitating for most of her life. Okay. Yeah, but Thank these, you. But these books are, yeah. are very, very helpful in that regard. Uh, but tell me a little bit about uh, where, is the, where is the main company of the doTERRA and how do you like work in Massachusetts on that part? Mm. Can you tell us something? Sure, um, they are based in Utah. Okay. And um, we have a, a beautiful and very fast growing corporate center there. Mm -hmm. In fact, they are building a new building now, mm -hmm. which they expect to be done in 2019, mm -hmm. which is going to be our first alternative medicine clinic. Wow. And there, people will be able to receive both allopathic and alternative health care mm -hmm. Without health insurance, it's going to be a membership-based facility. Mm -hmm. um, and they've now identified, I think, three other locations, mostly in the western part mm -hmm. of the country, where they're going to build more of these centers. And mm -hmm. their dream mm -hmm. um, is to have them all over the country. But we operate as a multi-level marketing company. Uh, it's network marketing, which is one of the fastest growing mm -hmm. forms of um, entrepreneurship mm -hmm. out there and it allows people to work from home, work on their own schedule, be with their family and pretty much control the amount of income that they receive. Whereas going to a regular nine to five, you're mm -hmm. limited to a dollar amount per hour. Um, but in network marketing, you have the option to really pretty much make as much as you want. So it's a very l financially liberating way to work. Um, but it also allows us to get out there and meet with people one-on-one, -on -one, to do things in a classroom mm -hmm. setting. Um, I have people that I'm working with in other countries now wow. through the miracle of technology yeah, um, with amazing. like Skype and Zoom. Mm. I'm able to sit and literally have one-on-ones with people in Peru or Isn't England it? or wow. Africa or wherever and um, to be able to literally reach out and, and help them. Blown so away. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's very, it's very empowering for me as well. That's amazing. That's mm. good side of the technology, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> huh, now tell me, uh, you have experienced life in I see like how so many ways. Uh, you are an aroma dance leader. Yes, I am. Aroma touch practitioner, yes. Reiki master. <laughs> yes. And working with this natural healing. So can you tell us a little bit about your the other healing? Sure, do? yeah. They all blend very nicely mm, um, yes, because what we have do. found is that you can pretty much incorporate essential oils into whatever your line of work is. It's oh. really pretty fascinating. Um, but so we are like, again, well. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yes, and so that we can help the people that we work with. Yeah. <clears throat> so whether you're um, an acupuncturist or a chiropractor or any kind of a therapist, um, a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, there's ways to bring essential oils into what you do on a mm -hmm. daily way um, if you are working with people on a daily basis. It's a really wonderful way to support everyone. There have been some fabulous um, kind of experiments that have been done in the classroom where teachers have diffused certain oils um, maybe at the time of day when kids were getting a little wow. antsy. <laughs> I need them from my grandkids. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. When they're back from school. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Or when they were taking a test yeah. and they needed to really focus, she would diffuse different oils yeah. to see what kind of um, um, effect that it had. And one of those little experiments happened locally in Greenfield mm -hmm. um, at the school of one of my team members' children. And the kids themselves 
actually wrote thank you letters oh. because they recognized the changes within themselves because of what was happening with them just inhaling these scents. They felt like they concentrated mm -hmm. more. They felt like they were getting along better. Wow. Um, they felt mm -hmm. calmer. They, you know, they recognized those changes in themselves. And that I found to be quite fascinating. Um, but I, as I mentioned, have always been interested in mm -hmm. alternative forms of health. And when I got into the oils, I found that the new circle of people that I was working with were all oriented this way, of course. And okay. so all my new friends were all energy workers. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so, so <laughs> just see, how do you, dear friends, are you there? Are you planning to buy the oils to try them? The, that is that season, you know, we are getting ready with sneeze and the cough syrups and all that. but. Maybe you would like to think of yourself as a whole being and the wellness, right. not to go there at all. Guard, on guard that we have one while, right? Absolutely. Valerie? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And so go, go on and tell us how to find you. Absolutely. Well, I actually work um, right down the street um, yeah. at 800 Main Street. I co-run a center Amethyst Brook Wellness. And um, there I do my energy work. Uh, in Reiki and integrated energy therapy and I incorporate oils into everything that I do there. Mm. Um, we have oils that ba will balance every chakra so if people are stuck in one of their centers we can help to unstick that and um, help them move through that process. It's also where I hold all of my essential oil classes or most of them. I do go to people's homes if they would invite me in and they have friends who would like to learn more. But every Friday, the first Friday of every month at 6.30, we have a, um, an essential oil workshop on mm -hmm. varying themes. Um, the one that you came yeah. to was all immunity based and the one for December will be more in the um, gift giving idea. So we'll be making things that you can then give as gifts and they will all be oil based. So I do wellness consultations. Um, <clears throat> I can, um, obviously do treatments. I'm certified as an Aroma Touch uh, practitioner and that is a beautiful topical treatment that we do on a person's back mm -hmm. and the bottoms of their feet with eight different oils to help support their immune system, reduce inflammation and encourage uh, relaxation. That's amazing. Mm. So thank you so much Valerie. Oh you are so welcome. And we would like to thank her for all the natural ways of taking care of our health that she has told us about. And it is Valerie Demersky mm -hmm. that we have been talking to. And the place to find her is at Amethyst Brook Amethyst Wellness, Brook Wellness Center yeah. at Main Street. Correct. And you can find us on Facebook. I also have a Facebook page that is just oil um, information under my own personal brand, which is the Center of Health. And the Center has an extra S in front of it for scent. Um, but I, I do oil posting there all day long as well. So if you're interested in learning, you can message me through either that or Amethyst Brook Wellness. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Tulip. So now, dear friends, are you ready? for the winter or anywhere you are on the part of the earth, seasons go around, right? Turn, turn, they always turn around and definitely if we are energy beings, we want to mm. connect to the mother earth in her natural way. And I was there at Valerie's workshop and that's where I, it landed on me like a shooting star. <laughs> I've got to let you know more about this. And this is where I am today. And thanking MS Media for making this day and its great team. I'm so privileged to be able to be, be with you with these amazing health chips. And wishing you all good health, spirit and energy. Thank you for being with me today. I am Tulip Choudhury. Until we meet next again. Welcome you 
all to tonight's class on how to support your immune system with essential oils. My name is Valerie Demorski and I co-own this beautiful center with Denise Deneen. And we always love having classes here because it gives us great space to be able to spread out and everybody has a little bit of room. And we can also all enjoy our little chakra tree back here. Um, but tonight, like I said, we're going to be talking about immune system. It's getting into that time of year when everybody needs to be thinking about how they can keep those germs away um, because they're going to be floating through the air everywhere you go if they're not already. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start by handing out a uh, trifold brochure to you that has a little bit of information about, oh, you've got one already there, um, about doTERRA in general and essential oils. And this will pretty much give you everything you need to know on a single sheet of paper. The essential oils are, um, they obviously come from nature, they come from every part of a plant, uh, whether it be a flower or a tree. Um, a lot of our, a lot, a few of our oils actually come from the resin from a tree, like frankincense and copaiba. But we have others that come from the leaves, the bark, the stems, um, the flower petals themselves, like in jasmine. Um, and then they are distilled, cold water distilled, or cold steam distilled, to, um, to get the highest potency from the oils, that's possible. You never ever want to heat your oils. So you don't want to put them in one of those little tea light things and heat them because you're just going to cook away all the therapeutic value of the oil and you're just going to be left with a pretty fragrance. But because our oils are certified pure and therapeutic grade, that's what you're paying for, you want to be able to utilize that. So don't um, heat your oils. Even our diffusers, you want to make sure that you're using something that's specific for essential oils and that is a cool mist diffuser. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, one of the things that I love about doTERRA, and I'll talk a little bit more about this later, is that they're very, very careful to um, set up distilleries very close to where they're harvesting the plants. So we have distilleries all over the world because we grow all over the world. Um, and it's called co-impact sourcing. It's at the bottom of the page there, and of that first column. So because a plant <coughs> is going to give you its greatest therapeutic value based <coughs> on a lot of different things, it could be the altitude that a plant was grown at, or the nutrients in the soil in a particular area, the amount of sunlight and rainfall that it gets. And let's face it, you know, yes, you can grow lavender in Utah, but it's not necessarily going to be the best therapeutic value that you can get from the plant if it's grown someplace in that climate. So doTERRA does the research to find out where in the world a plant is best grown, and that's where you <coughs> go and grow it. Oftentimes, Oh, I'm sorry, do you want to turn, feel free to turn that if it's... I'll, I'll just move to a different chair. That's okay, you can turn the top of it and it will redirect it. Yep, yep, there you go, just move it around. Um, <clears throat> so we go wherever in the world a plant is best grown. And then, um, as I said, they often will um, build a distillery right there so that they can move the plant very quickly from where it's been harvested to where it's distilled and uh, um, again not lose any of the therapeutic value. So another thing that's really important in the co-impact sourcing aspect of our growing is that oftentimes we end up harvesting or growing in third world countries and so we're able to give work to these people and um, in this, in the, I think it was frankincense, they did this amazing video on where the people who had been harvesting um, frankincense for like generations had been selling to a middleman who was selling to the general market and these people were working really hard and not getting a whole lot of money for their work. Well, doTERRA stepped in and said, hey, if you'd like to work for us, we can get rid of that middleman and we'll be able to pay you 10 times what you're getting paid now. So, of course, <laughs> that's what they're doing. 
And beyond that, <clears throat> when we contract with a harvester, one of the things that doTERRA will always ask is, what can we give back to you and your community for what you are doing for us? And if they say, um, oh, um, what was, the, was it again, was it frankincense? Where they asked, the tribe asked for a new school, and, um, um, and I think it was Emily Wright who said, we'll build you a new school as long as the girls can go. Mm -hmm. Because it had never been that the girls could attend school. And they said, okay. So for the first time in the history of this area, girls were able to go to school. But they've built homes and, and libraries and dug wells and I mean, we were the first people to go in after the bad earthquake in Nepal a few years ago and we built them two new schools right away. Um, we put new wells in Haiti a few years back after the devastation, even though we lost our distillery there for Vetiver. So they give back and they give back and they give back in big ways, not only to the people that work for them out <laughs> in the harvesting world, but also to us as distributors and to you as customers. Um, they, are, um, they are absolutely committed to giving you the highest quality oil that is possible and they will literally test every single liter of oil seven different ways before it goes in that bottle. So you know that you are getting the highest quality oil possible. They even have a website called Source to You and there's a link to it from doTERRA where you can Bottle. You can look at the bottom of any bottle of oil and there's a code on there. And if you go to that website, source to you, and you put in that code, it will literally tell you all the testing, the GMAS testing, and the results that will done on that particular bottle. It's pretty cool. So, <clears throat> in the middle column of your trifold, we talk about the most basic oils that are in virtually every kit that we have, almost all of them. Um, these are basic 10. Frankincense, lemon, lavender, melaleuca, oregano, peppermint, breathe, deep blue, digest and, and on guard. Every single one of these oils is in that kit for a reason because even if you just have this 10 out of the 100 or however many oils we have now, you can deal with just about anything that comes your way, uh, whether it's a physical issue or an emotional issue. Um, if it's a cleaning project that you have, if your kids put a um, marker on the walls, you can get that off with lemon and melaleuca. Uh, a lot of these oils are ingestible, so you can cook with them. So there's a myriad of things that you can do with these oils. Now, lemon, lavender, and peppermint in and of themselves, we actually have in a little introductory kit here. This is um, something that we're very excited about because we're going to be using this kit in particular as a fundraiser for Amherst Media. And um, for a $30 purchase, people will be actually not only getting these great oils for themselves, but there'll be a $10 donation back to the studio. Um, these oils, in, these three oils in particular, when people buy the kit, I actually have a PDF with 101 ways just to use those three oils. And that's just a partial list of all the things that you can do with them. But it's enough to get you started. Most people are familiar with lavender. You know, it's in, scented in so many different things that we use in our daily life. Um, but what most people don't realize is a lot of the things that you're smelling out there with a lavender scent in it also contain other fragrances and toxin, toxic things. And so I'll get people who say, oh, I can't, I can't be around lavender. It gives me a headache. Well, yeah, it probably does if you're smelling it out of something from one of those stores that makes bath and body kinds of things. I won't name names. Um, but if you're smelling pure lavender out of the bottle or diluted and used in a lotion or something, I don't know anybody that's gotten a headache from our lavender <laughs> because there's nothing in it but the pure essence of a plant. So you can be sure that when you're using our products that, um, you know, 999 times out of a thousand, you're not going to have any kind of a reaction like that to it.
In fact, it'll probably help your headache. <laughs> um, I know I'm the headache queen. <clears throat> I've had three brain surgeries, and I've had a gazillion headaches in my life that have just put me to my knees, and I wish to God I had had these oils back when that happened. But even when I have them now, um, or my daughter, who uh, has suffered with migraines her whole entire life, has literally had a migraine stop in its tracks, even when she was as far as 45 minutes into it. If you've ever had a migraine, you know that once it starts, you're done for a while. Um, so these oils can be extremely helpful for people who have um, acute issues or chronic issues um, or have any kind of, we have a whole line of oils that are specifically for emotional support as well. Um, oils like Breathe, well, Breathe is the oil, I was telling somebody this earlier, that, that sold me single-handedly on doTERRA from my very first inhale of Breathe. I knew that I was not going to be able to stop talking about these oils. I had suffered with allergies my whole entire life. Um, couldn't live from August to October without being on chlortrimeton every day. And when I took my first inhale of Breathe, I went, oh my God, there's something to this. It just cleared everything out and I've never taken another allergy pill. In mm -hmm. fact, last year I didn't even have any symptoms for the first time ever. Wow. So that's been life-changing for me. And I've seen life-changing things happen to people time after time after time after time after time. And Valerie, mine cleared up. My allergies cleared up this year, too. Woo -hoo! Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo! I actually was having severe issues the last, um, starting five years ago, with my um, eyes oh, swelling eyes. and running. Right. I remember even last yes. October yes. when I went to Arizona it, and it yes. just went for like a month. I couldn't stop it and I went to the eye doctor and they're like, you just have to ride it out because I became immune to the allergy medicine they had me take mm -hmm. and that was terrible. So this year I've really practiced on using my oils really regularly to build up my immunity and I have never had one issue. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I know. I love it. I just love it when I hear stories like that. Um, one of the reasons that I even started Endocare was to literally try and find something to help my mother's pain because she's dealt with fibromyalgia for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I put her through quite a regimen for about three months of different oils to help with pain and sleep and put her through a cleanse and did a touch and a number of things. And in three months, she literally came to me one day and said, I have no more pain. And that was the most gratifying thing I could ever hear. And I said, if I never, ever do anything else with doTERRA, my work is done. <laughs> but by the same token, knowing what I know and having seen what I have seen, the other thing I say all the time is, I can't stop talking about it. I feel like I have something that everybody needs because you can't have a conversation with anybody anymore that they're not talking about mm -hmm. something that hurts or that they're sad or they're, you know, a friend just had a diagnosis of some awful thing and it's like everybody needs this and I'm finding that everybody wants this because they're sick and tired of the trips to the doctor and those little white pieces of paper and how much it all costs, and ruining their gut health on antibiotics, and, 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 and. So to know that you have a natural solution is huge. And to be able to put it in their hands and say, I can help you, is very gratifying. So, um, so there's a little bit about each one of these oils um, in the middle of the page here. And we're going to be utilizing a number of these in the blends that we're doing tonight. <clears throat> but first I want to talk a little bit more about how exactly you use essential oils because it's way more than just smelling them. Yes, um, inhaling them is one of the best ways to use them, especially if you're using oils for emotional purposes because as soon as you inhale a scent, and we've all had this experience driving down the road and somebody hit a skunk like two miles down the road, but you can smell it, and the minute you do, you have a reaction. <laughs> um, same way when you smell a beautiful flower. You inhale that scent, it makes you feel good. It's the same kind of thing. You inhale the scent of an essential oil, it hits your olfactory bulb, goes directly into the brain, and starts chemical changes in the body that can literally 
change your mood. So we even we use them a lot um, with people that have PTSD, um, even people who are on suicide watch. You know, it can really help to change the mood. Simple, just feeling like I'm not having a good day. Put some citrus bliss in your diffuser. Anything citrus actually will help to raise your mood. So um, these oils can be really helpful for that. And by the way, I think I've told you at Disney World, that's actually oh, yes. what they push out. So when you go to the rides where you stand in line for an hour or two yeah. <laughs> at a time, um, uh, where you stand in line the longest is actually where they diffuse um, wild oh, orange. orange. I noticed it like three or four years ago because we're part of Disney Vacation Club, so we go two or three times a year. And like four years ago, I was standing in line, and it was an hour and a half wait, and I was like... As I moved up into the line, I realized the sun, it was getting stronger and stronger, and where it is the most stressful for people to stand and their kids would be acting up, that's where they're diffusing it at, which is pretty funny. Right? Yeah, they should be in the RMV and other places. Oh, yeah. They should. Oh, yeah. That's great. No, it's, it's very true. It's very true. Um, also, one of the wonderful things about our oils, because they are so pure, is that about 80% of them can be taken internally. We do have some that, um, especially the tree oils, that are blended with some other things, and so they aren't recommended to be taken internally, but most of them you can. So we like have a whole set of oils that can be used in your cooking. We have thyme and cardamom and black pepper uh, that you can literally use in the plate in replacing um, dry herbs in your cooking, so it's very cost effective that way as well, and the, and the taste is intense, way more, you know, sometimes you get dried herbs and they sit in your cupboard and they, you know, lose their strength, but oils never do. In fact, um, they really don't have an expiration date. Some of them have it on the bottle because I think they make us put an expiration date on it, but aside from citrus oils that, mm, I think it's like four years or something. But most of them really, they don't expire. It's just because I just came upon, uh, across a, a peppermint this morning, and I decided to put that in my diffuser, mm -hmm. and it had an expiration date on it. And when I opened up the top, I could see that, well, mm -hmm. this smells really good, oh, so yeah. I'm not worrying about mm -hmm. it, and it was fine. Yeah, 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 it is. And in fact, the, um, the Egyptians really understood the value of essential oils, in fact, it was more important to them than money and jewels because they understood what it could do for their health. So when the pharaohs were buried in their tombs, they would have these huge clay vessels filled with essential oils to take with them to the other side. Um, and when, you know, thousands of years later, when the tombs were discovered and broken into or whatever with archeological digs, they could literally still smell the essential oil because it wow. was it was put in clay, which is porous, and it's still they can still get a scent from all of that. So mm -hmm. it's it's really pretty amazing. So, people so one of the things that we want to do is so, yeah. put our the label, label on first. Oh. Oh. How much of <laughs> <laughs> this oil do we put? You're going to where's your bottle? Oh, okay. So you're going to put the little nozzly thing in the top of this. Yep. Try and keep it right in there. Yep. And push your nozzle up and down while it's staying in there. Go right up to the neck. Okay. All right. It's probably like three. All right. So there's your label. Yeah. Your bottle. And your recipe. And for this one, we need breathe. Lime, copaiba, eucalyptus, and marjoram. Okay. All right, and the drops are on there as well. Um, I don't know if you heard me telling this lady, but sometimes they come out really fast. So you want to go really slow. <laughs> and if you find that it's coming out too fast or too slow, just rotate the bottle a little bit. But you shouldn't have to turn it upside down. And in fact, it probably won't come out very well if you do that. So you're rotating the bottle until you find the right spot is kind of the best thing to do. Mm. And then this is fractionated as well. Okay. 
Because the bottle is so, um, kind of greasy yeah. from the fractionated, but I find this to be an easier way to do it because the spout is long and you can stick right yeah. into the neck of the bottle. Do you want to share it? The, um, it's literally considered the highest rated oil. Oh, so you shouldn't put oils in the plastic because correct. plastic is also an oil and you'll it will break it down. Yep. And yes. But you probably don't have it in there for very long. Well, that's fractionated, so that's fine. The lid is cracked. Yes. So oh, oh, dear. Oh, maybe pour from the other side. Yeah, I, I, I meant to change that now before I came. Um, <laughs> Keep her around. Yeah, for sure. Is it not doing it? Okay, use this one instead. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. I knew there was one that had a problem. Uh, and so, um, <coughs> yes, to get back to your, your plastics question now, yeah. there are two kinds of plastic that are safe. Okay. Yes, and I've got to try and think of, you know the numbers in the triangle on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I want to say it's one and two, but I would want to look that up to be sure. I know doTERRA actually did an article on that That's that was all about which plastics are safe. I know PET, PET plastics are safe. Wow. And what is the initials? D, D, E, P, E, or something? I'm not even sure. I, I would want to look that up before I sure. say. But like when I go on to, when I'm buying um, spray bottles in bulk, when I'm going, like we're going to be doing a class next month on holiday gift giving. And one of the things that we'll probably be making are rooms. Yeah, we have Sue today at Valerie's workshop and she has come to make some rollerball oils. And let's hear from her. So how did you hear about... I heard about this through a, a Facebook messenger from Emily. Uh, she she let me know that this workshop was happening and I was interested so I thought I'd come and learn some more. So what kind of oil have you made today? I have made one for the respiratory blend um, which is five different essential oils plus the fractionated uh, coconut oil. So it has uh, Breathe, copaiba, lime, eucalyptus, and marjoram. And it smells fantastic. We'll see how it works. Yeah, good luck with your oil. Um, it's an exciting experience, isn't it? Making your own oil instead of just buying it from the store. It's, it's fun. It's yeah, fun. Thank you, and, and it's nice to see exactly what's going into it. Yes. And not having any Definitely. more sinister ingredients. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sue. Thank talking. you, Tula. Yeah. She's today at Valerie's uh, workshop, and let's see why she's here. So I'm here. I was supposed to come with a friend of mine tonight and introduce her to oils uh, because she's been having serious migraines, but she's at home sick because she needed to take some medicine, and that medicine has made her sick. So. I, th I thought, you know, I'm going to come anyway. I hadn't seen Valerie's whole presentation, and I was so glad I did because I've gotten to meet with a couple of other um, ladies who um, I knew some information about some oils and had had some experience that I was able to pass on that information. So, but uh, yeah, I'm starting to really see the value of oils and how you can use them in your in your daily life for mental health, emotional health, physical, spiritual well-being. And as a Reiki master as well, I use it a lot in my own Reiki practice with my own patients and stuff as well. Um, helping them relax and then helping them become more in tune with their own spirituality and helping to unblock energy. So I use it a lot in that realm as well. So, But I'm here because I love oils and because you can never uh, learn too much. So that's why I came tonight. Thank you, Patrice, for sharing this. You're welcome. Thank you for asking me. You're welcome.